subscribe. And uh, in today's video, we're, we're going to talk about are you feeling poor? Are you feeling like every time you eat, it's just costing an arm and a leg? Well, you're not alone, guys. So let's get to the video. All right. So uh, in this video I have pulled up right here, this is actually from Today uh, News, our YouTube channel. And they're talking about fast food prices skyrocket. Let's watch this and let's see what they have to say. Consumers are getting a little salty about those fast food meals. Since when is drive through like a minimum of $30 for two people to eat? New inflation data this week confirms that prices at fast food restaurants are on the rise. And consumers, well, they've taken note. It's getting out of hand out here, bro. <laughs> I'm about to just start eating ramen noodles like college again. So why the price increases? In addition to price your ingredients, labor costs have all... Did you hear that? He's having to eat at home like it's college again. Guys, that's like the norm for a lot of people right now. They're just having it hard in general, guys. So people just aren't, they're not making enough money or not making a uh, sufficient amount of money to be able to survive in today's economy because all the costs of everything across the board has gone up. Yo, you know it's bad when people are turning away from Big Macs and rather, you know, going home to eat than going out to eat. That's crazy to me because like traditionally like fast food has always been like cheap. same suit that cost her about seven bucks three years ago if i'm gonna spend that eight nine dollars i'd rather get like a sandwich or something that for my family and versus just me getting a bowl of soup panera did not respond to requests for comment fast food companies operating on a franchise model insist that prices are up to their franchisees to set which explains why prices may vary by location how the franchisor looks at, at this consumer backlash and is concerned about what this means for uh, their customer base and, and revenues, and and I can tell you, you know, restaurant sales in the back half of last year definitely slowed down for sure. The consumer backlash may push companies to back off of attempts to pass on costs to consumers, following the social media uproar sparked by Wendy's plans for dynamic pricing. And forty dollars more at three a.m. We know you want it. Wendy's later clarifying it would not use surge pricing like rideshare apps, which increase prices during high demand times. Companies like Chili's are trying to advertise meal deals for under $11, taking direct aim at competitors as consumers look for savings. So, Brian, I mean, when it comes to these, these price hikes and so many folks are seeing in so many different fast food restaurants, are there any particular menu items that we should be able to look out for? Yeah, and, and McDonald's insists that for franchisees, they're the ones that set the pricing, but they say that their apps, uh, no matter where you go, can often, often, oftentimes offer coupons or other types of deals. Also look at meal deals if you're buying for the whole family. And then lastly, of course, you can uh, turn to any sort of coupons online, uh, maybe try to plan ahead of time, see if you can get some deals uh, at the fast food folks. Guys, the point is, is that everything is going up, guys, across the board. And how are you going to survive? How is anyone going to survive in this in this economy with with the food costs skyrocketing? I mean, food is like you're like essentially like you're you need it every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it is essentially more important than paying your rent, guys. And we know rent's gone up. And if your food costs have gone up as well, I mean, really, how are people going to survive nowadays? I mean, it's just, it's like it's getting worse. So I have this article right here, guys, for you guys. Look. All right, so this is like nerdwallet.com. And this is, read this, guys. Food prices rose 28% in five years, and here's why. Okay? Um, look. Updated October 10th. With data from the last, the latest consumer price index report, 
No single factor can explain why food is so much more expensive now than before the pandemic. Food prices, which are up 28% since 2019, remain high because of the combined impact of rising costs, supply chain disruptions, and corporate profits. Higher production, labor, and fuel costs have rippled through every aspect of the food industry. Supply and chain disruptions caused by global events, severe weather, disease, and have affected many essential crops and livestock. Food companies that sought to maintain or increase profitability while facing these volatile conditions. Look, guys. If you're not on the, the train of realization that things are going to continue to get more expensive, I don't know what you're going to do, right? Like, you can only cut back so much, right? And then these companies, you know, people want to blame the companies, and I get it because everything is going up. I, I get it. But the, the problem is, too, is these companies have operational costs as well. So when you see stuff like this, food prices – Food prices rose 28% in five years, and here's why. Guys, look, I'm a consumer, and I feel it. I'm sure you feel it at home. But the thing is, is that these companies, they're also feeling it, guys. They're getting hit with operational costs that are leading them to have to increase prices at the end of the day. And so, honestly, I mean something's going to have to give, you know, you have, you know, a lot of these cases it's, it is inflation, right? Over the last couple of years, it's just, it's, it's culminating at these companies and they're having to increase the costs. So like when you, when you vote for like increasing wages and stuff like that, and you know, wage increases are going to result in food increases. Okay. Cause the people at those companies are going to request more money the companies itself themselves are not going to take losses, guys. So they're going to what? They're going to increase their food costs to compensate for the increase in wages, and that's what happens. That's just it just trickles across the economy like that. That's where you're seeing the cost of things go up like crazy. So let's go on to another video I have for you guys. All right, so this is uh, it's on YouTube. Food costs have gone up. Let's listen. Fast food a luxury, like when, like when I look back at like when I was a, when I was a kid, my parents would take me to you know McDonald's. Um, it was never a luxury. It was just you know we went to McDonald's because it was it was cheap and it was good, and I got a happy meal at the end of the day, you know. And uh, I appreciate all that, you know. And and now like, I mean. I don't go to McDonald's per se, per se, but I do, you know, like, like I go to Chick-fil-A, you know, easily just myself alone. It's almost $20 just myself. And that's fast food, right? So yeah, 78% of Americans are getting fed up with the rising costs in food. I mean, it's getting outrageous guys. That's crazy. Let me go back to that, that screen. Look at that. Dude, <laughs> since 2019, a McDonald's Big Mac cost 21% more in today. Wow. Guys, I mean, for anyone saying inflation's not a real thing, come on now. So when the government tells you that oh inflation is only like two to three percent, dude, in the real inflation is way more than two or three percent. And I'm sure you at home, you at home can realize that real inflation is way higher than two to three percent, like the government, or even four percent, like the government tries to say it is. Right here, 
a Big Mac in 2019 cost, you know, has went up by 21%. Look at that right there, guys. So this is a this is a franchisee owner, right? He owns, I think he said, eighteen fran uh, McDonald's in California, and he's even saying that inflation is getting him. So, if you see right here, according to Fox Business, uh, McDonald's price increases since twenty nineteen. A Big Mac is up twenty one percent. A 10-piece McNugget is up 28%. Medium fries are up 44%. And average menu items are up 40%. So when people tell you, again, Oh, inflation's not a real thing. Dude, inflation is 100% a real thing. And it obviously is happening at a dramatic rate. This is just... From 2019 to 2024, you have practically, I would say, I mean, from 21% all the way up to 44% uh, across the McDonald's menu, you know, increases. Like, I'm sorry, but um, did you did did people get like, did people get paid more? Did people somehow get you know magically you know uh, increases in their wages over the last you know? Couple years, five years? No, I don't think so, guys. People did not get a forty percent increase in their wage in the last five years. So why? Are you, I don't even think people even got a twenty percent increase in their wages in the last five years. So, but these companies have to increase the co uh, uh, the prices to keep up with the inflation because they they have operational costs. Cost. I don't blame the companies. I'm not blaming the companies. It all goes back to the to. Who's printing the money? Who's printing the money? Do you know who's printing the money? I know you do. So every time you print the money, you cause inflation. Devaluation of the currency. And then people are requesting higher wages because they have to increase a higher wage to survive. Thus, the companies have to increase their prices. Let's continue. just a 25% wage increase. There's a steep trend line up for all of my backdoor food and paper costs. Access to capital is a challenge. The cost of capital, you mentioned in the last segment about the 11 rate hikes that the Fed has executed. Well, at one point, you could borrow money to start or grow your business at 3 or 4%. Now, franchisees are looking at 8, 9, 10% to grow their business. So when you add that on top of the relentless drumbeat of government regulation that chokes the oxygen out of small business, we've got a problem in the state of California. So what are you doing about it, Scott? Have you been forced to raise prices? How do you square that circle? Well, in terms of raising prices, you know, walking through this inflation minefield has to be done gingerly. I can't charge $25 for a Happy Meal. I have to be thoughtful about my approach. And you mentioned the national $5 meal deal offer, which is being launched next month nationally at McDonald's. That's going to jumpstart a summer value campaign. 
my restaurants have always been a leader in providing value for our customers. It's part of my franchise DNA for 70 years. I've been in this business for 30. My family's been in this McDonald's business for 50 years, if you can believe it. Obviously, the sustainability of this $5 campaign is all about driving incremental visits versus trade-off, essentially growing the baseline and winning market share, which is critical to surviving that 25% overnight increase in the California minimum wage. And so if, if you're looking at you know what's driving inflation on my side of the counter, of course, it is the cost of labor, the cost. The cost of labor, guys. Like I said, the cost of labor is is driving the inflation because people have to, you know, request higher wages. People have to request higher wages in California. In the past, they increased the minimum wage, so that's what's affecting them. But it's across the board, guys. Across the, across the country, uh, margins are are you know are going down for franchisee owners. Um, you know, people just aren't making enough money. So let's go on to the video I have here. It's my last video uh, for today. So let's watch this, guys. Wow, guys, you hear what he just said here? That, like, this is just one business owner. He's literally saying that he's going to have to increase prices next year by 30 to 40%. That's just one business owner, guys. There's tons of businesses out there that are going to start having to do the same thing. You think inflation is gone. It's not. Inflation is sticky. It's going to stay around, guys. So... You know, people out there like burning through cash and not trying to save money and, you know, doing this keeping up the Joneses stuff, it's going to bite you in the behind eventually, guys, because the cost to survive, the cost to maintain is becoming outrageous. So, yeah, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on it um, and what you guys think, you know, uh, where you guys think things are going over the next one to two years. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, guys, on that note, I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Peace out.